Frankie. Let me say my videos are for educational purposes only. Some of the information may be factual. Some of it may not be factual. Some of it may be just allegations. So always do your own research. Look, I got to say this, man. A lot of Americans are getting tired with the way Western media, Republicans and Democrats are lying and hiding information when it comes to this war that's going on there in Gaza with Palestine <clears throat> and with Israel. I want you to listen to this. I am so sick and fucking tired of the lies that Western media, Republican and Democrat, that, that y'all are both putting out lies about what is going on in Gaza. So I went to watch the news last night and there was a story about an Israeli family. I don't watch the news for, for information. I watch the news to be like, hmm, what are they saying is happening? And the story was telling about a family in uh, Israel that got displaced. They had to relocate to a hotel because of the attacks from the Hamas that killed 50 people in their area. And they were saying how hard it was to be living in a hotel with their entire family fitting in one room. How dare you report on a singular family from Israel that's been displaced when there are over 2 million families in Gaza displaced? What about them being displaced? And they're not being displaced into nice little little hotels with running water and food and a nice roof over your head and you don't have to worry about bombs dropping on your place to stay. No, that's not what's happening. They are being displaced onto the goddamn streets. And let's talk about what Israel's trying to do with the hospitals, shall we? Oh yeah, they want to forcibly evacuate 22 hospitals with thousands of men, women, and children who are dying in them. Thousands. So don't sit here and say you care about civilian lives if you want to evacuate goddamn hospitals. 22 of them. And don't sit here and say, oh, well, maybe they have the, the civilians' best interests at heart. They want to relocate them. The United Nations, their, their WHO organization, WHO stands for World Health Organization. They have already stepped in and condemned this. They have said, if you evacuate these hospitals, people will die. There are people in these hospitals in intensive care. There are people in these hospitals on life support. There are people in these hospitals getting hemodialysis. There are children in these hospitals in goddamn incubators. There are mothers who are pregnant trying to keep their child alive in their stomach long enough to give birth. And you want them to evacuate somewhere safe, right? There is nowhere safe. There is nowhere safe. There is nowhere safe left in Gaza. And let's say there is. Let's play into your bullshit lies. There is somewhere safe for them to go, right? No worries. You just have to, one, make it there alive because you're all dying coming from a hospital, right? And then two, you have to walk through all of the rubble of what is left of Gaza to get there. You have to walk on the bodies of your people, your dead people, your dead men, women, and children as you're dying yourself and try to make it to the safe place, right? And then don't forget the fact that Israeli forces will be waiting to arrest you when you get there. Fuck that. So genuinely, sincerely, from everybody who sees through your bullshit, fuck you for reporting on, the, on a singular family in, in Israel that had to go to a hotel. The children of Gaza are in the fucking streets, some of them buried under buildings. Fuck you. Fuck you. Genuinely. Do you know how much food is left in Gaza?